if you're a moto vlogger, then you've dealt with these things. You thought you got the footage and you didn't. You thought you hit record and you got the audio and you didn't. You thought you hit the right button, but somehow you put the camera into some time warpy thing and you didn't get the footage. I'm tired of dealing with it. I'm sure you're tired of dealing with it. I think I might have the answer. So let's take a look at the Teleson GoPro remote. I think I got the fix. One of the challenges that we deal with as moto vloggers is that we ride around on our motorcycles with the GoPro stuck to the front of our helmet. We can't see the back of the GoPro. We can't tell whether it's actually recording. We don't know how much battery life we have left. So sometimes we end up missing video that we really wanted to get or audio. I finally got tired of dealing with that. So I started doing a lot of research. Uh, I was doing some research on remotes. And when I first looked at the GoPro remote made by GoPro, there were a lot of reviews that just ripped that thing apart. Did not seem reliable. So I did a little research into Teleson, which is a remote control made for GoPros, and decided to give this a shot. It's very reasonable. It's not a lot of money. I figure it'll work, or if it doesn't work, I can always send it back. So let's take a look at this. In the box, we have the remote, which is uh, pretty cool, small. We have instructions. And then we also, in this accessory box, should have a charging cable. This is a standard USB on one side and, yep, a magnetic. Uh, connection on the other side so it just snaps right into place on whoops, just snaps right yeah there you go just snaps right into place on the back of the uh, the device so that's how you charge it and then we also have a velcro strap I think the straps actually made to put the remote on your wrist I want to mount this on my handlebars. We'll try to use this for that. And if this won't work, I've got plenty of Velcro down in the garage. So let's take a look at the remote. There's a power button, a record button, a favorites button, and then a settings button. So the first thing we want to do is hit the power button to turn this on. And I've got 73% battery out the gate. I want to pair this to my GoPro. And the way we pair that to the GoPro is to, after we hit the remote, turn it on, we want to hold the gear down for three seconds. It goes into pairing mode. And actually, I already had my GoPro on um, the connection setting. I'll show you where that is. Let me hit that to finish the connection. But what you want to do is put, uh, go to preferences. Can we see this? I don't know if we can see that or not. Go to preferences, connections, connect device, tap smart remote, put this in pairing mode, and then you're good to go. So the cool thing now that I have these two devices paired, is you can see on the status screen here of the remote, it's talking to the GoPro and it's telling me that I'm in the settings screen. So I can get out of that. By default, what I see when I connect to the remote is I see which lens I'm using. In this case, I'm using the wide angle lens. I can see how much time I have left on the card for video that I can record. And I see the battery that's available on the uh, GoPro itself. So that's pretty cool because you can see that at a glance while you're looking down at your bars. If I want to record on the GoPro while I'm riding, I hold this 
power button down to power on the GoPro. It's already powered on. And then I can hit the record to start recording. You can see the GoPro is recording or I hit record again to stop it. With the favorites button here, you can program this to switch to different modes. Uh, of course, you can control your settings from here on the remote if you need to. I don't think it covers all the settings, but it does cover quite a few. And then, of course, you can hit the power button, hold that down, and that should power off both the remote and the GoPro. So that's cool. That's cool in and of itself. That takes care of the GoPro that's on your helmet. But if you also have a GoPro on your handlebars, like a GoPro 9, then you can pair a second GoPro to this so that when you hit the power button and then record, it, it turns them both on and sets them both in record mode at the same time. And if you have another GoPro, this is a GoPro uh, Hero Session 5, You've got this maybe down near your pegs, taking a, shots of another angle, pair it. Now you've got all three that you're controlling. If you've got one on the back of your bike, shooting the other way, there's four. You pair those, power on, record, all with one button or all with one, all with one control. In fact, you can pair up to six, count them, six. GoPros uh, with the single remote. If you have more than six GoPros on your setup, hey, go find your own solution. This one will work with up to six. Now the downside from pairing multiple GoPros to the remote is that you obviously won't see like the battery level for a single remote. So there, you lose some information. I think my plan right now is that I'm just going to use the remote to control the GoPro 8 that I have on my helmet. Uh, I usually have a session 5 on the, the bars in case I'm using that. So I can reach up and hit that myself and then I see visual feedback already because this is facing me so I know that it's recording. But I think that's a good setup. So we're going to go downstairs to the garage and we're going to try to uh, put this on the bike and test it out and then maybe go for a ride. Um, I've got to go to the, to the office in the morning so we'll test it out on the commute and see how it works. See you guys down in the garage. On the back of the remote you'll see that you have these slots on both sides of the, uh, the device and what you want to do is take the Velcro and kind of weave it through. Like I said, I think the original strap that they ship with it is actually intended to uh, go around your wrist or something. That strap ended up being too long, so I ended up doing a temporary fix just to get out and ride and test the remote out with uh, a Velcro piece that I have for uh, cable ties. But that's, you know, that'll, that'll work for testing it on a ride, but as you can see, it's a little loose. That's not going to be my permanent mounting solution. I'll have to figure that one out. So tomorrow morning, we'll hop on the bike, head to the office, and do a little test to see how this works. Fingers crossed. All right, so we're uh, we're on the bike, obviously. Hey, uh, disregard all the crap on the helmet. I switched out my GoPro 7 for my GoPro 8, and that means all my cables have to shift over to the other side because of the difference between the two uh, bodies and where the interfaces are located. So it's a bit of a mess right now, but I, I got it cleaned up. So anyway, we're riding the remote. Uh, I use the remote to turn the camera on. Now, according to the remote, and this display is really bright. Uh, first off, I can see that flashing green light, which means that the GoPro should be on and in record mode. I can see that I have been recording for 1 minute 25 seconds because of the timer. I can see my battery life. My battery life is good, so I'm not going to run out anytime soon. So yeah, this is a, this is a good solution. I am probably not going to be connecting or pairing the uh, Session 5 with that remote because I don't use the uh, Session 5 as much as I do just my helmet camera. And it's really easy for me to hit that button on the Session 5 whenever I want to use it. And I get that blinking red light that shows me that it's in record mode. So I don't have an issue 
not knowing that that's whether you know whether that's working or not. Uh, someone asked me, how do you sync up the video when you're using both cameras? And uh, it's actually really easy. I just get both cameras going. Then I look over at that one, take my fingers and go clap, just like a clapper board. And then in the video, I uh, align those and then I know everything's in sync. Pretty simple, huh? Yeah. So I think this, oh, check it out. What's going on, dude? So yeah, I think this is gonna be a really good solution. As long as I get to work and the GoPro actually is recording. But, you know, we'll see how that, if that happens. So yeah, this is working. I think this is gonna be a really, really good solution. I don't think I'm gonna have any more issues going forward with not knowing that uh, the camera's recording or not recording. Now, obviously, this won't let me uh, have any indication as to whether the audio is recording. I just have to trust that, but at least I know, uh, at least I know I've got the camera working. I'm going to go ahead and hit that button again to stop the recording. So if you're interested in this uh, Telesun GoPro remote, I'll have a link down in the description of this video. It's an affiliate link to Amazon. That's where I bought it from. Obviously, if you click on that link, I think I get like an 18 cent commission or whatever off the sale. There's some kind of, I don't know, 5% or whatever goes to the affiliate referrer. And I would really appreciate that. We just finally started making money on the YouTube channel last month. And uh, yeah, guys, don't rush to get to a thousand thinking you're going to get rich because it ain't going to happen. But I made enough money in the first month to pay for this $45 GoPro remote. So this remote is the represents the first reinvestment into the channel of the money or revenue generated from the channel. Hey, there you go. It's a step forward. All I have to do is uh, wait about 1,800 years and uh, I'll make enough money to maybe retire then. You guys have a good one. I'm going to work. See you later. Peace.